Joe Biden's choice pick as the Democratic nominee is Kamala Harris, his current vice president. A woman who seems more preoccupied with waffling nonsense, just like uh, someone else in the party. To see the moment in time in which we exist. During Women's History Month, we celebrate and we honour the women who made history. The significance of the passage of time, right? The significance of the passage of time. So when you think about it, there is great significance to the passage of time. It is time for us to do what we have been doing, and that time is every day. Does she even know what she's saying? To discuss this and more, I am joined by Media Research Centre Vice President Dan Schneider. Dan, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Uh, Kamala Harris is now vowing to win the party's nomination. Uh, here she is rolling out one of her many cringeworthy lines. I can imagine what can be and be unburdened by what has been, you know? What can be? unburdened by what has been what can be unburdened by what has been what can be unburdened by what has been dan is this seriously the woman who could possibly be the next president of the united states well uh shockingly it is possible she could be the next president of the united states tanika uh, but what we're also understanding here is that there is a massive burden on her shoulders that she is not unburdened by, and that massive burden is named Barack Obama. We are actually still in the beginning of the civil war within the Democrat Party, the Clintons versus the Obamas. And, and uh, this, has, this little civil war has been playing out with the nomination, the, the presumed nomination of Joe Biden, until Barack Obama began to push him out of the way. So do you think then others will put their hand up in the Democrats? It's, I think most Democrats are sitting back trying to figure out if in fact Barack Obama has the, the, the clout and the ability to force uh, Kamala Harris out of the way. You know, it's, a tricky, it's a tricky battle because uh, the Democrat party here in America, of course, is so wed to the DEI effort that on its face, it looks like pushing her out of the way would anger the, the, the black Democrat caucus here in, in, in our Congress. But with Barack Obama trying to undermine her, anything is possible. And with Biden's announcement, it was clearly not a matter of if, but when. Did the Democrats push Biden out only because America found out about his cognitive state, do you think? I mean, they've been covering it up for years, then led a coup in recent weeks to push him out. Right. He's, he's been uh, impaired for a number of years. Uh, during the, the 2020 election, uh, when we had our COVID election, he was, of course, Biden in the basement, campaigning from the basement. The, the storyline was that they were letting Donald Trump hang himself. But in fact, anytime we did see Biden speak, we could tell that he was not the same orator that he had been before. Uh, I would not have ever called him a gifted orator, but he certainly had the gift of the gab. Uh, but in 2020, he had lost that edge. And throughout his administration, we saw that decline rapidly. Yes, you're right. It has certainly been a long time coming. Look, the Democrats have accused Trump of being a threat to democracy, yet voters won't even be given a chance to elect a nominee in the primaries. It's been a complete waste of time. Uh, is that lack of official process a threat to democracy now in itself? Well, of course, selecting the Democrats' next nominee without a single U.S. citizen actually going to the ballot box to vote for him is very undemocratic. Uh, I know that many Republicans have tried to call hypocrisy. I doubt that that argument is going to, to resonate with the American public. They, they will think that, you know, that the Democrats ought to be able to have somebody running who you know, can, can put two brain cells together. But, it, but you are right, Danica. This is a very undemocratic process that the Democrats are pursuing right now. It, it sort of calls a lie to the name of their own party. It's, it's, it's an undemocratic Democrat party. What do the Democrats and media have to do to redeem themselves after years of lying to Americans? Well, Americans have a short memory, Danica. It will not take long before this is, this is a thing in the past. Uh, our legacy media here in the United States 
will very aggressively push whoever the ultimate nominee is for the Democrats. Uh, that they will, the media here will rally behind that person to try to prevent Donald Trump from being reelected to the presidency. And and then frankly, regardless of how this next election turns out, the media will continue to push against Republicans supporting the Democrat. Uh, and uh, and we're going to we're going to be back to the same situation within 12 months of this next election. Yeah, it is extraordinary. What does this mean for the upcoming Democrat convention? <laughs> well, you know, the, that convention has already begun. Uh, it was supposed to begin about a week from now uh, in a virtual sense to, be, to begin getting these pledged delegates to formally nominate Joe Biden. That time period is now in doubt. But whether it's formally begun or will formally begin soon is almost irrelevant. The real battle has, in fact, uh, commenced uh, Kamala Harris against all other comers who may or may not be backed by Barack Obama. Donald Trump maintains he can beat Kamala Harris. Do you agree or will she be more of a challenge for him? Uh, if, it's a, if it's possible to imagine a worse candidate than Joe Biden, I think that person embodies, you know, our vice president, Kamala Harris. She is uh, not liked. She's not liked by her own staff. And I know that you all have reported in the past that she cannot keep her own staff. Her, you know, people who are employed by her leave that office screaming. Uh, they, they dislike her. The rest of the White House staff who has to work with her do not like her. Uh, the party's establishment does not like Kamala Harris. She's never once had a job that required her to manage or lead. Uh, she has fallen up her entire career. Frankly, I don't see her running any kind of a campaign. So I, I, I think Donald Trump still has a big edge over Kamala Harris. The question then is, is whether the Democrats' efforts essentially to undermine our own campaign laws will come into play, and will the Democrats be allowed essentially to manufacture millions and millions of votes outside the regular voting process. Yeah, good point. Dan Schneider, great to speak with you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Tanika.